Hey rabbits, it's Trixie and today I want to talk to you about German food. Not the casual stuff like sauerkraut and potatoes that everyone connects with Germans, but food that we have really weird names for. Cold dog, rabbit bread, dead grandma. No, I'm not kidding you. Dead grandma. All of these are German dishes. Let's find out what the heck that is. Kalter Hund or kalte Schnauze. Cold dog or cold snoot is a German dessert with a lot of chocolate and butter cookies. The cookies are stacked up and then hot chocolate is poured all over them. After cooling down, you get something like a cake that looks like a brick wall out of chocolate and cookies when you cut off a slice. So Germany is the only place in the world where you can have a hot dog and a cold dog right after each other. Arme Ritter. Arme Ritter means poor knights. It's bread slices covered in beaten egg with spices and whatever else you want to put into the mixture. And then you fry it until it has this really nice golden color. Sounds like French toast? Well, it basically is. But for some reason, we don't call it französischer Toast, so poor nights it is. Hasenbrot. This one is something that I just needed to add, because it means rabbit bread or bunny bread. And what could fit better to the channel than that? Hasenbrot is mainly given to children, and I remember it from my childhood as well. It's basically two slices of bread folded together with a bit of sausage, cheese, marmalade, or whatever you want to put in it in the middle. The usual food that kids often take with them to school, but so far it's just a Pausenbrot. Bringing it back home without eating it makes it the... Hasenbrot. Some sources say that parents used to give this cute name to the bread, trying to make it more appealing to their children. Please, Sarah, eat your bread. Look, it's, it's a bunny bread. It's magical. Others say that it got its name because the old bread was often fed to rabbits that many families owned in earlier times. Himmel und Erde. Heaven and Earth. What kind of food may that be? Sausage, mashed potatoes, apples and onions. Obvious, right? If not, let me explain. In some regions, the potato is called Erdapfel, earth apple, and potatoes grow underground, so that's the earth part, while the real apples stand for the heaven part, either relating to their religious symbolism or because they grow on trees and, you know, are close to the sky. Ice bein. Ice leg? That sounds more like something that the police officer finds in a murderous freezer in a crime story, right? Well, it's not unlikely that ice bind can be found in freezers, but of course it's not a human leg. It's a boiled pork knuckle. In Germany, it's usually served with sauerkraut, mashed potatoes and mustard. Moppelkotze. A chubby person's vomit. I'm just gonna let this settle a bit. Moppel is a German word for a pudgy person. Not necessarily overweight, but, you know, somewhat chunky. And kotze? Well... Moppel Kotze, the dish, is a stew with potatoes, pickles, beans or cabbage and different variations of meat. I couldn't really find a trustworthy source to explain this gross word, but most likely it doesn't mean what it appears to mean. It's more like a derivation from old German words, but it does sound pretty funny. Tote Oma. Let's end this video with my favorite. Tote Oma, dead grandma. Also referred to as Verkehrsunfall, car crash, which doesn't make it much better. It's a dish called Grützwurst, which I only found the translation white pudding for, and I'm not sure if that's correct, because that sounds more like a vanilla cream to me, and that's not at all what Grützwurst is. Grützwurst is a sausage made out of pig meat and grain, also containing tasty things such as liver, blood or grinded meat, depending on the region. Due to its gory appearance, it was given the name Dead Grandma, because it literally looks like someone slaughtered granny and, well, pushed her into the meat grinder. On this rather cruel and a bit disgusting note, I want to say thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you had fun getting to know these strange sounding German dishes. Did you know them or do you know more? Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below and please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video because that would make me happy. And just in case you want to make me even happier, you could also decide to become my patron. I'll put a link to my Patreon page also right here in the description. Now I wish you all a very beautiful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to and see you in the next one. Bye!